Come on, Tim. Come on. 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 What do you mean if it's suitable? Uh, I mean, you it's think fair. it's fair? I mean, you know, the price, I mean, it's... it's I don't care, man. I don't care if it's fair or not, but that's his price. If you want to see him get in the ring with Benavidez, that's what it's going to take. That's his price. You know, um, you know, deep down, deep down inside, that just tells me that he respects Benavidez. I don't care what he says, that oh, he ain't done nothing and all that stuff. No. If he ain't done nothing, then why are you asking for $150 million, dog? That's all I'm saying, man. And I said this this story. I think it was on Probox TV, man. And I was and I basically said this, bro. Talking about Mexican pride, you don't even gotta be a Mexican. You just gotta be a man, right? If you got another man coming to your house, coming in your sport, whatever you wanna call it, bro, and he's calling your name, he's doing the same thing you doing. He fighting, and you the guy, you the cash cow, you the face. Of boxing and you don't answer that call bro that says something about you man you know what i'm saying you supposed to stand up you supposed to say oh really oh you think you better than me okay no nah. but you know you get everybody you know he's proven it enough he, he's proven it enough I, I get it he's proven it enough he has <clears throat> he has proven himself enough but benavidez man benavidez is disrespecting him He's telling him to grow some balls. He's doing all of that, bro. And if you being Canelo Alvarez and you have any pride and your dignity and you and your skills, I don't care. I don't care. Step up and face that man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody else, everybody around you is saying, yo, what, what the hell is going on? And, it, and deep down inside, even the Canelo fans, deep down inside, they know what I'm talking about, bro. You, broke them down, you know what I'm saying? That's just it. So, huh? Man, look, I, I just honestly shut up. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> no, it ain't break me down, man. I'm just, I'm just a nice guy, man. Come on, I appreciate and we appreciate it. you for no, that. Anyways, for real, for real. anyways, I don't, I don't really want to break it down right now for you guys, bro. But I can just tell you this: the fight will be interesting. Canelo Alvarez, I think, is a better counter puncher. I think that he'll be able to lower in Benavidez. <laughs> Uh, make him pay for some of the mistakes that he makes if he overcommits. Um, however, I think late in the fight, if Benavidez is still standing, he's able to take his best shot. Benavidez is a monster, and he got a monster engine, bro. A monster engine, and he puts his combinations together. So with the volume, the pressure that he puts on, with the size that he puts, you know, that he has as well, uh, and the IQ, because Benavidez is, is a smart fighter. He's not a dumb fighter. He's a smart fighter, bro. I think he can give Canelo a run for his money definitely down the stretch, man. You know, and he's going to put that pressure on him. I mean, Canelo being at the age that he is and not throwing that, throwing with uh, with uh, with volume or throwing a largest amount of punches and trying to, like, reserve and conserve his energy and play defense most of the time, just as he did against Bivol because Bivol was able to put that stuff on him, then, you know, it's going to be challenging for Canelo down the stretch. And I know that Canelo feels that way. You know what I'm saying? But, like, bro... You fought people all. This is another guy. You know, fight, man. Fight Benavidez, man. Fight Benavidez. Get it over with. Um, I think I picked Canelo to beat Benavidez beforehand. But as the fight continues, <coughs> and, you know, as the, as the fight is, I would say, uh, hasn't materialized yet. Benavidez is in the gym. He's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. He's about to stay busy. He's about to go up to 75 pounds, and he's about to fade Volzdick. And it's going to be even come more difficult for Canelo to even beat him. So um, it got to happen in September because I don't see if it don't happen in September, bro, it ain't going to happen at all. Do, do Tim, we make it to September? September? I mean, how, how does a Munguia beat, oh, like, oh, what does a Munguia victory look like over Canelo? What do you mean? If Munguia, like, like, if Munguia were to beat Canelo, what does that look like? Shit. Benavidez is the man. I mean, uh, Munguia is the man. Right. He beat but, Canelo. Right. But I mean, like in the ring, physically, like what, like is it a knockout? Is it like what? Well, how does Munguia have? 
What does Mookie have to do to beat a Canelo? Yeah. Mookie ain't knocking out no damn Canelo. Triple G ain't never. Triple G couldn't even hurt Canelo. That dude got the best chin in the business, bro. He ain't knocking out no Canelo, and he ain't gonna get to have no chin over freaking night. He gonna he got a chin, and so I understand that Mugia. He has he has a uh, he has great value, volume, you know, decent quickness. He's bigger than Canelo, standing at six foot. Got uh got a nice reach on him. However, he makes mistakes. He makes mistakes, and a great counterpuncher like Canelo, how cerebral he is, and how he's able to set traps for his opponents. I think it favors Canelo. I think he beats him, and I think he beats him handedly. Um, De Devranchenko, think about that. Devranchenko was able to get, you know, in Mugia's behind, you know, and some people even even thought that Devranchenko beat Mugia. You know what I'm saying? Now you got a guy as smart as Canelo, who can land that boom. Who understands how to set up these these young guys? You know that's what it is. But see, it's funny that he's fight. It's funny that it's not funny. He's fighting Mugia because he was forced to. In my opinion, this is my opinion. I might be wrong. He was forced to fight Mugia. He didn't want to do no business with no damn Golden Boy, but he was forced to do it because of the money. You know the big the big thing going on with Amazon Prime, all of that like. They got Amazon Prime because of Canelo. You know, we need you to fight, and we need you to fight somebody because we need to hit it out the park. Mugia is that guy. He's hot. He's coming in flaming off the victory with Ryder. And everybody's comparing that victory, saying, well, you didn't stop him. You didn't, you know, and we all know that Canelo softened him up. However, Mugia was still able to get it. Then you put Freddie Roach in there as well. You know what I'm saying? So that, that makes it even a bigger spectacle. Think about that. Even bigger, Freddie Roach, you know, and what Freddie Roach sees and how Freddie Roach talking. He, he's going to talk his talk. He's going to say, oh, he's older now. He's not the same. He's this. He's that. It's going to be a huge promotion, bro. It's going to be a great fight, entertaining fight. Mungi is young as well. You know, he's a young bull. He's strong. He's hungry, determined. It's going to be the best Mungi. And I think Canelo, he knows he got to turn up and he got to show out. And he gets that dub, it's gonna look good on his resume. He's gonna say, guys, what else do you want me to do? I just fought a young boy. You didn't you said, well, it ain't Benavidez, it's not Benavidez. However, I'll give Canelo credit for fighting this young bull. Tim, I didn't get a question. Let me get you real quick. Just your thoughts on uh, Spence and, and James. Yeah, I'll take the one. I'll just take the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me yeah, give me a taco. Yeah, yeah. Give me a taco. Spence, Spence, you know, Derek James, oh, you know, they say man, that. I don't want to talk about that. Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia, I know you. I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about Spence and Derek James and they falling out and all that stuff. I gotta head out, man. I see y'all later, bro. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate your time.